Hello everyone, happy day wherever you are. Hope you're having a great week so far. Today's tarot card reading is for Tuesday, June 13th to 14th. And we have three cards with us, starting with the Magician Reversed, the Four of Pentacles Upright, and the Ten of Cups Reversed. So as I meditated on the meaning of this layout and these cards, um, what I'm sensing and realizing and receiving more than anything is the message from spirit and our inner beings, our higher self, that we are holding ourselves back from living life at our full potential or experiencing more fullness in life, more joy. You're holding yourself back from being the fullest expression of your talents and your ideas and your possibility and potential in your relationship and in your career and in the areas that are the most important for you right now. But really there's that one area that you're working on and it really matters to you um, and yet we are holding ourselves back and see with the magician it's indicating that you have so many talents and skills and potential and opportunities that are here and in available now because it's reversed it's indicating that there's a, a my my interpretation my sensing is that there is a hesitation and a confusion about what your true power really is there is a there you're pausing before you're acting like you're you're self-doubting and you're not really making full use of your tools and there's more that you know than what you're actually applying in your daily life to attain your goal and some of it could be consciously like your own, perhaps our laziness or our lack of um, self-trust or confidence, um, self-esteem, or just doubts about what might happen if this, if I do so, if I, if I make full use of it, perhaps a fear of success, a fear of things working out really well, or a fear of being alone. And thus, it's just that slight hesitation about acknowledging what our true power is but this is a reminder from spirit that you hold the power and you have all the tools in your hands and in terms of spirituality it's about you connecting aligning continuously conscientiously aligning with between spirit and the the god that you believe in the energy that you believe in and earth or material possessions and material execution so it's really about drawing our inspiration more and more increasingly day by day from the universe, from the source of love and the source of happiness and well-being and making that really clear and obvious and definite in our intentions, in our behavior, in your behavior throughout the day. And as you do that today, you will carry that onwards for tomorrow. So again, just reminding ourselves to not doubt the self, to not put yourself in a position of, um, of, of feeling like you're not in your full power, you can't be because of limitations, because you do have all the tools in your hands and available to you. And then, then we have the Four of Pentacles, which refers to more of our material possessions and money, finances, security, stability. It's upright, which means that we're in a position of like a holding. Perhaps even we could call it a holding pattern and being in place rooted and sort of being detached from everyone else because you have that thing that you're focused on, that you're attached to that um, it's giving you that sense of security and stability. And it's not only financial, it could be you holding on too much to your money. And again, money or the perception that there's a lack of money and resources may actually be the source and reason for our inability to perceive more possibilities and to implement what we know and to apply our innate tools because we are focusing on just keeping what is and holding on to what is and just being so attached to it that we're not freeing ourselves to new possibilities and to being 
more receptive to what could be. So as you see him, he's holding on, he's in a good position of security and stability, which is wonderful and great. And indeed, that's what we strive for as humans um, in the physical world for stability, security, material well-being, uh, abundance, prosperity. However, notice that it's only four pentacles. It's not ten pentacles. And he's not exactly joyous or rejoicing. Rather, he's just sitting tight, holding on, holding on to the four pentacles, which is only four out of ten. So use this as an example, as a metaphor for holding on to the small stuff, which keeps us away from the big stuff. So while it's important, and yes, appreciate what you have, appreciate what we do have, holding on to this current abundance or um, secure relationship or where you are, the status quo, but know that there's something beyond that. And beyond that is the unknown, which may be the reason for the fear and the self-doubt and the being frozen in place from creating more in, in a more empowered manner. And then we have our Ten of Cups, which is reversed. And my main message is that don't let what is hold you back from your happy ending. And don't let the status quo and the way things have been hold you back from what could be even better. And the possibilities that await you. And also, don't let what is currently happy and, and good now in the mindset that if you change something, it's going to create unhappiness because that's also another aspect, uh, another perspective and another um, side of the, of the mirror is that many times we don't want to rock the boat. We don't want to shake things up and we don't want to actually step out into our own or step forward into creating something new because we're afraid that we're going to upset the people that are closest to us, the people we love the most, and that we're just going to upset the happy picture that the rest of the world sees. However, I'm inviting all of us for today to contemplate in what way perhaps you try to impress others or you try to appear to be a certain way um, or what kind of image that you want to portray which is not accurate which is not who you are in your heart, which is actually at variance with your preferences and with what your heart says. And it's about being real and honest and with ourselves um, firstly and not deceiving ourselves into putting up a picture that things are okay when in fact we need to shake things up or we need to open our minds. And that's really the main message that I'm receiving for today is to don't hold yourself back from what is from experiencing something even better and even greater for, for you. Don't hold on too tight. Open up a little bit more. Open our minds. Open your mind to consider other alternatives and possibilities to see the world from another way, from another empowering perspective, knowing that there is there are even happier possibilities in the future. And if it's your fear that you're going to rock the boat and that your happiness is going to be upended, um, realize and remember that you've been through this before and that if you don't change, things will probably stay the same. And if that's something you're willing to be happy with, then great. However, the fact that we're here together with this reading means that it's a message and a guidance and a, and a nudge that you have so much that's waiting for you and a lot of the tools are in your hands. They're not in other people's hands and that we just need to know to what extent we hold on to what we have and we hold on to that money, we hold on to that person or that happy family picture or the job that gives you security but is not making you truly happy on the inside. To what extent we need to do that and how does that affect our soul's journey? How does that impact your feelings on a day-to-day -day basis? And is it honoring your highest truth? So that's the message for today. Um, and if there's one final guidance that I would like to receive, we'll just pick a card. Um, 
to see what the final message is in terms of our tarot guidance for today. Wow. This is the death card. So this is an obvious sign that something is going to run its course. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. Something has to change. Something has to die and evolve and transform. Evolve, transform, transmuting into a new beginning, into a new birth. And to not, to let go of the fears and to just be valiant and bold. And when that new opportunity comes to you, take it. If you have that inspiring idea that stirs your heart and brings a smile on your face or that brings a flutter to your stomach and makes your heart beat faster or that excites you, then go for it. Knowing that it comes from your heart and soul and that you are the magician in your life and we just need to release that fear that we're going to upset others because everyone has their own path and how they feel is up to them, not up to you. And we cannot project onto others. So go with it, follow it. And I feel, I know that we've received the message that we needed to receive for today. So thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow this week with our next reading. Tomorrow and the day after, I'll have the reading. And um, any questions or if you'd like your own reading, contact me directly on the tarot page. Bye!